Well, I suspect, don't we? <laughs> he didn't have a coat on. It no, looked just didn't. amazing, yeah. didn't it, really? You know, we gained seven, eight, nine degrees in some spots from yesterday. You know, we're going to lose it again as we go through towards Thursday. But let's concentrate on the positives. Temperatures across Europe about what you would expect for the time of year. And the air that's with us now actually was above northern Spain, the Iberian Peninsula, a couple of days ago. And uh, just slowly been drifting towards us as we've gone through the last couple of days. And, of course, today then we saw that top temperature in Essex of 22.6. I've taken the liberty of rounding it up to 23 degrees, though. Yes, we're going to do it all again tomorrow. And in fact, the air tonight under clear skies is still pretty warm or certainly mild for the time of year. We'll keep temperatures in the towns, even with those clear skies, in double figures, perhaps the high single figures in rural spots then. We start with a lot of sunshine straight away tomorrow morning, whereas this morning we did have a bit of cloud around. It means the temperatures actually have just got that little bit longer to potentially get up even higher. So 20 to 22 easily but somewhere I could see 24 degrees I'm pretty hopeful for tomorrow as I say though there is a change on the way and it comes later in the day tomorrow and overnight into Thursday it's this weather front sinking towards us not much in the way of rain on it and it's only slowly moving towards us but it does introduce some colder and fresher air from tomorrow night onwards so we've got that cloud just moving in later in the day slowly coming in the temperatures will take a bit of a knock then but with a lot of cloud around they should again hold up above frost values it means we start with quite a bit of cloud particularly towards the northern half of the region on Thursday. Towards the south, might hold on to some sunshine here, but slowly but surely that air is filtering towards us and look at those temperatures back to where they should be for the time of year. We do, though, see the benefits of high pressure as we move back in towards the weekend. So, in fact, although that area of uh, colder air just moving ever southwards, the high pressure means that we are dry and nicely settled as we move towards the end of the week. But as I say, we were up about seven or eight degrees from yesterday to today and we're going to go back down the same sort of amount really into Thursday and into the weekend too but with that high pressure it will be dry and settle with some sunshine but I'll be using the word frost tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Deep joy. She gives and then she takes away. She does. <laughs> That's all from us. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow night. Good night.